For those of you who have given your NEET 2022, today is going to be one of the most important days of your life. India had already released the answer key and the OMA sheet last week and by now you might know how many marks you have scored in this year's NEET 2022. But once the results are out, you are actually going to know where you stand in front of all the 16 lakh students who have appeared for the examination. And I'm sure that at this moment, there are going to be a fraction of the students who are eagerly waiting for that moment, who are eagerly waiting for the results to come out. Because they know that they have really performed well, they have actually cracked this examination. All of the hard work which they had put for the past 2 or 3 years have finally worked out and they will enter a dream medical college of their choice. But unfortunately, that's not where the large majority of students are going to be today. The students are either going to be in a state of anxiety or they might really not care. There will be definitely a proportion of students who might have left the need path and they have already opted for a different career. But for those that are going to be in that anxious state, this video is actually for that group of people. There will be a lot of anxiety surrounding these students. Part of the reason is that these students are going to be in what I would say as the borderline category. Because their marks are fairly good, but it may or may not be good enough for a government seat. We do not know whether, uh, whether they could get a government seat with their ranks or not. So these students will obviously have a lot of important decisions which they will have to make in the coming few days. Their parents will also be in a state of anxiety. There will be a lot of questions that needs to be answered such as will I get a government seat or should I wait till the sport allotment or should I do my MBBS from a private institution here in India or move abroad or even think about repeating need once again. And my focus in this video is going to be for the students in this circle, in this group of what I have said earlier as the anxious group. And mainly I'll be focusing on a few things what you need to know before joining a medical college. I'm not going to discuss on whether you should repeat the need once more or not. That will be in a separate video sometime in the future. But here will be a few tips which I hope will be helpful for you to take a decision before entering a medical college. So let's get started. Before we move further, let me introduce you myself. Myself, Omar Muhammad, I'm currently a third year MPBS student studying at Gama Medical College, Kolkot. I had written my NEET entrance examination during 2019 and I was able to score an All India rank of 1016 and a state rank of 117. Okay, so we begin with the most important question of this video. That is, are you really sure you want to join MPBS or not? This is the first question which you need to sort out. A lot of anxiety and dilemma surrounds this area that is should I really join MBBS or not? If you really have any other alternate career pathway you can pursue that but it's not an easy decision. You will have to really discuss with your parents with the people that are concerned who genuinely care for you and you have to ask yourself as well. This question is particularly relevant if you are someone who has financial restrictions for joining private medical colleges or someone who is planning to go abroad for medicine. So these questions actually need to be sorted out before moving further. One piece of advice which I would like to give in this regard is when, when it comes to MBBS, MBBS is really an amazing course. I do not know what I would have done other than MBBS. It's really been good for me. But the important takeaway message which I would like to give is that not entering a medical college is really not the end of anything. Instead, life just moves on. We have people who have lost their neat entrance examination, chose a different career and they're really doing well. And we also have the other opposite side, that is students that have entered our medical colleges and then decided to drop out. So they have repeated one year or two years, then entered the college and then they have dropped out and they are all fine. So this is not the end. That's the first important advice which I have to give to you. And this decision must be taken before we move further in this video. All of the things which I'm going to say next in this video is based upon the premise that you have decided to join MBBS. Now you have decided to go for MBBS and there might be a really relevant question which might come up for a lot of the students that is should I pursue my MBBS degree from a private institution here in India or should I move abroad to countries like China, Georgia, Armenia, Russia and all. 
Personally, I know students who are pursuing MBBS in those countries who were my schoolmates. There are students that I know from China, Middle East, Georgia, Armenia, and even Ukraine. From what I know, there are a few things which you really need to know before moving abroad. The first thing is, most of the students go abroad mainly due to the finances. Apparently, it seems that the cost to study is cheaper in those countries compared to studying here in a private institution. That's not the whole picture. There are a few other elements which you need to know. One of the things is MBBS is actually a long course, you might already know it. It's at least going to be 6 years in those countries. And you also have to add not just the tuition fees, but you must also take into consideration the living expenses in those countries. Most likely the expenses, the monthly expenses are going to be really high compared to that in India. The expense for accommodation, the expense for food, it's all going to be high. Not only that, you will also have to consider the expense for vacations. If you are on your vacations and you are trying to come back to India, the expense for your flight tickets, all of these expenses really when you add it for 6 years, it really makes a huge amount. Even then, the argument might be that okay, it's still going to be cheaper even if you add all of these expenses compared to studying in a private institution. But that's where the other element comes in. These students that are studying abroad to work here back in India, they after completing their MBBS, will have to go through a foreign medical graduate examination which was earlier called as FMG and which will be replaced by next exam. When the FMG was conducted, the pass rate was around 15 to 20 percent, which means that it's really a difficult examination to crack. Out of 100 students, it's just 15 to 20 percentage of students who are really cracking it. So the part of FMG struggle must also be taken into account before you opt for studying abroad. Is it all worth it? Is it worth the difference in financial expenses that are going to come? That question needs to be definitely answered and needs to be thought before you opt for abroad. The third advice is it's time for you to research the colleges which you are likely to enter. So there are so many websites and even your coaching institutions might give you an idea of what your state rank might be and also which college or which group of colleges you are likely to get. So it's time for you to really work into that. Do your research, call your friends or any type of contact. Maybe your parents might have contact with the institution or some individuals within those institutions. Do contact them and do your own research. When you opt for a medical college, there are a few things which you have to consider. The first one is the academic status of that college, which is really important. The colleges which have a lot of patient load and which has a lot of history and reputation are definitely going to have its own advantages over the other institutions. Especially if you are planning for newly established private colleges, you have to do your research before joining those colleges. There is also a special mention for those students that are planning or who might get a seat in a different state which is far away from their home. So they will also have to take that into account. There is the fact that once you join MBBS, you do not have much vacations as per se to return back home. So you are really going to have 6 years, you are really going to be away from your home in a literal sense. With the vacations and the opportunity to come back to home are going to be restricted if you opt for a medical college which is far away from your home. So that's also a factor which you have to think about before joining a medical college. So that's some of the things which you have to look for before you opt for MBBS here in India or abroad. In a nutshell, everything which I have said in this video can be summarized using these 3 or 4 points. That is, firstly, it's time for you to make a decision on whether to join MBBS or not. Secondly, if you are planning to move abroad, think beyond the expenses. And finally, if you are planning to stay here in India, it's time for you to start your research for the institutions that you are likely to join. So with that, I end up this video. Most of you might have several doubts regarding the allotment procedures and what next after the need result. I have done an entire video on that. It's in Malayalam actually but anyway I will put the link in description below. If you like this content, do share and subscribe to this channel. I will be coming up with more need videos. And let this content reach your friends and those whom you know are trying to enter a medical college in India or abroad. So that's it for this video. Thank you.